Um, the rest of them, if I can get this fender to look this good, the rest of these things, not even worried about them. And on the second coat, you get a run. You don't stop putting the paint on. Oh, look at him. He got run. <laughs> he don't know what he's doing. He's a Dumbo. <laughs>
uh, with the polish. And as you guys can see, we still got a little bit of hazing from the red pad. So that's where this number two polish and this black pad is gonna go ahead and now bring the shine back that the, the, the haziness in the red left. Um, those red pads, I mean, they work for some colors, like a one and done type thing. But if you're trying to get it, you know, really, really shiny and as shiny as the rest of the surrounding panels on this car, we are really going to have to do a full three-step polish on this job to make it look good. Now, as far as buffer speed and movement, you guys can see I'm keeping it at like a number three speed. I don't like to go crazy high with the more aggressive compounds and polishes. Because remember, that can create a little bit more heat. Um, you really only want to use your top speed on your buffer when you get to like the final polish, which really doesn't have a whole lot of cut, so it won't create a whole lot of heat. Another good tip is always use a clean rag. Don't be a cheapo. Make sure you use a new rag in between every step on your wet sanding and polishing process. That way you're not taking old junk, we're not taking some of the, the compound from the compound rag and putting it on the panel when we're trying to polish it out. You know, it can ruin the whole job. Um, so we're doing our final polish on it, just getting the shine to match the rest of the surrounding panels and uh, you know, getting it all finished up and touched up. There you guys have it. I have maybe 10 minutes in this job. And this, minus the front bumper, because that, like I said, I might just take half an hour to sand down the whole front bumper and reshoot the whole thing, sand all the runs out. The rest of the runs and sags, I'll say they're sags because they're not really like, like what this fender was. Um, the rest of them, if I can get this fender to look this good, the rest of these things, not even worried about them. Day after Christmas, guys. I'm just coming in here, messing around, trying to give you guys some content. A lot of you guys ask me, how do you how do you remove runs? How do you remove runs? Well, the first step is don't be a dummy. Okay, that's the first step. Okay, if you if you're doing a paint job and on the second coat you get a run, you don't stop putting the paint on. It is the worst mistake you could make. Is just stop. That's like. <laughs> Don't do it. Do not do that. If you see a run, you want to go ahead and take a pause in your painting. Go ahead, let that paint kind of tack up and harden up just a little bit. Maybe give it an extra 10 minutes flash. Put another coat on it. Put another coat on it. You know what I mean? And that's what I saw a second coat. I saw I was starting to get some a couple, maybe two sags. And then I put the third coat on, and then that two turned into like six or eight. <laughs> but at three coats of paint, I knew... I did not burn through at all. I knew I had enough, plenty of material, especially single stage being a little thicker. Um, had plenty of material to wet sand and buff. Now, I am not going to say, and you guys saw on camera, I'm not going to say that that is an invisible repair. You can still see it if you're right up on it. You're looking like six inches away from the panel. So like, like if I'm standing right here looking at it like this, yes, I can still see it. But just walking past it, you know, just walking past it a couple feet away, I cannot notice it. So for all you experts out there that say, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, uh, look at him. He got run. <laughs> he don't know what he's doing. He's a dumbo. <laughs> there you have it. I do know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know exactly how to fix every single screw up that I have. That's the whole point of this YouTube channel. It's for learning. It's for DIY people that watch me, the 90% of y'all that watch me, the blue collar guys, the rednecks, the guys like me that, you know, into cars, whatever. That's how I made the page for. If I didn't have a screw up, and this was, uh, you know, Billy Bob's $3 million body shop, or this was Pimp My Ride, it wouldn't be, really be that entertaining to you guys, okay? 
you know, yeah, it's fun to watch, but 90% of you guys, you know, that watch me, and not to say that you guys don't have the skill to do it, I'm not trying to insult anybody, but 90% of y'all are trying to do exactly what I'm doing here. Look, you got an old car, hey, let's make it look good just walking past it. We're not trying to win any, you know, we're not trying to go to uh, SEMA or any of those shows. Look, this is what 90% of you guys want to see and want to do to your cars. The fact of the matter is, and I'll post some pictures uh, in this video, what this car looked like when I got it. I mean, it was just atrocious, dude. Like, it was atrocious. I mean. It was a basket mess. We took it from that to this. Yeah, this is fully cured up. This this paint's been drying for days now. It's, I think I sprayed this thing like Friday. It's now Tuesday, so four days. It's it's fully cured up and it ain't shrunk back. It ain't died back. It ain't lost its shine. Nothing. Not a single problem. It looks the exact same as the day that I shot this car. And I'll tell you, part of the reason why, it's because, number one, Speedoco products. Number two, I did do three coats, which does help a lot with shrink back. That way, if your first two coats shrink back, you know, you got a third on there. That way, it can kind of be a little bit of a buffer. But this thing, man, like I said, it's got a couple little nibbies here and there. And you, know, you know what I mean? But this thing looks incredible, dude. I'm going to take another hour. Cut the rest of these little tiny ones out. Little sags and stuff like, you know, like little ones. There's a little one right there, too. You know, these are tiny ones, man. You know, I'll take another hour or so. Cut the rest of these out, and I might just go ahead and run the black, the black pad over the whole car. That way it all looks the same instead of making it look patchy. You know, it's super shiny here, super shiny here, super shiny here. And just run the black pad over the whole thing and make it look uniform. And call this thing a wrap, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hope you all had a good holiday. Um, catch you guys on the next one. Like and subscribe. New videos every week.